Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel 3 where last episode we arrived in the province of Sutherland for the first day of field exercises. After making camp and with each class at different tasks, Class 7 found out their mission, consisting of wide area patrol and helping out the locals with our contact to be the local Marcus. With that, we have started heading up the South Sutherland Highway towards St. Ark, having battled our way along to the city's outskirts. I should probably give you... Let's prevent delay on you. Let's prevent blind on you. You got prevent poison. Augment quartz, really, 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 really. Analyze SR side as the ATS plus 10. We've got Golden Sphere R. We don't have detection quartz yet, do we? I don't think I had that. I guess I could go with some extra critical. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to do you first. HP plus 100. Got some earth ones put on, so Crest could go on a thingy. Or we could do strength, actually. Let's do Needle Shoot SR for you. And let's give you Golden Sphere for now. Should've done someone else. Should've done Altina. Actually, I need different kind of thing altogether to do her. Should've done Kurt, then. Kurt, you're up next. You need some stuff. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. All right, so after some upgrades and more, let's get out there once again, shall we? Ah. We'll get to that. Well, whatever we need to do, I'm going to need to get some more sepif to do it. Sepif comes from fighting. We're definitely not getting exactly a high rate of sepif from everything we're doing at the moment, are we? My turn. Oh, that's room of Altina. She looks faster. Is this one of the things again? Having a smaller character makes everything seem faster. Hey, if it works, it works, right? Perspective tricks. That's what we need. And so we reach Saint Ark at last. What quests are waiting for us? Because I haven't found any beast that drops the stuff needed for Fingermabob. That poor old Freddy back there. 7 a.m. Took us a while to get through, but we gotta we gotta orient in battle. The old capital. Wow, this place has such a nice atmosphere. But for a place that's supposed to be chalk white, everything here looks pretty gray. In the Dark Ages, Heimdall was struck by a disaster. The emperor at the time moved the citizens here and made it the new capital. Back then, this place was a brilliant shade of white. <laughs> you sure know a lot. Of the five big cities in the Empire, this one has just as rich a history as Heimdall. Actually, since Heimdall has been rebuilt before, it may be safe to say this city takes first place for historical buildings. Oh, wow. I was not aware of all that. Hmm. Major? Instructor Claire? Is something wrong? No. I was just thinking how long it's been since my duties last took me here. Marquis High Arms Mansion is located past the cathedral in the back of the Northwestern District. I can guide you there. We'd appreciate it. Thanks. The Noble District. We're going straight there, are we? Seems these nobles all have the same designer. Their architects are all the same. Thank you all for coming. I 
am Fernand High Arms, the one in charge of the Sutherland Province's well-being. It's good to see you again, Reen. It's been some time. I hear you've been taking care of my son, Patrick. It's good to see you again, too. But about Patrick, it's quite the opposite. He's been a good friend and helped me out a number of times. <laughs> I'm sure he would be honored to hear that. Were you aware he's currently helping out in Ordis? Actually, yes. He came with me when I first went to the branch campus. We caught up during the train ride. Oh, and it's good to see you too, Celestin. Indeed, Master Reen. I returned to St. Ark last year, leaving Master Patrick at the school. But it seems he grew up wonderfully in my absence. I can't thank you and his other classmates enough, Master Reen. <laughs> really, I didn't do much. Let me introduce the students of Class 7 Special Operations. P pleased to meet you. I'm Una Crawford. I'm Kurt Vander. It's a pleasure to meet you. Altina Orion, nice to meet you. Ah, so this is the new Class 7. I wasn't expecting to find a son of the Vander family here. I'm indebted to your father. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Thank you for your kind words. Now, Major Revelt, would you mind if I saw Tareen's business here first? Not at all. I would actually like to hear the details myself. Would it be okay if I stayed and listened? That's perfectly fine. Marquis Hirams, we're here to report that we, the Thor's Military Academy branch campus, have begun our field exercises in Sutherland. Understood. I expect great things from you. The requests, if you would, Celestin. Yes. Please, take this. Receive the list of Special Operations Missions requests. Attached to the usual documents was an additional form titled Crucial Investigation Report. This is... Crucial Investigation Report. This is a report regarding the many different sightings of suspicious monsters across the Sutherland Province. An investigation task. Suspicious monsters. Your Excellency, this is... Over the past few days, there have been many reports of these monsters in the Southern Province. The most frequent sightings have been to the vicinity of St. Ark and Palm to the southwest. I'd like to look into these monsters and discover their true nature. Their true nature? If the issue is crucial, I take it you don't think that these are just any monsters. Indeed. According to reports, they are monsters made of metallic parts. Ah. That's... Are you certain? There's a possibility the person who saw it was simply mistaken. However, there are other reports that mention the sound of grinding gears. We had the Provincial Army investigate these reports, but we've not yet been able to confirm them. Since the Civil War, the Provincial Armies have been downsized considerably. To be perfectly honest, our investigation is not as far as it would otherwise be. Are the Provincial Armies dwindling? I don't really get any of that stuff, but we just need to go find those weird monsters, right? It seems like these things are causing problems for a lot of people, so we've got to do something. Yes, you're exactly right. Understood. We'll do this in addition to the ever requests. I appreciate it. Class 7 Special Operations. I wish you good luck with your exercises in Summerland. I need to go talk with the Marquis now, so will you pardon ways here? Regarding what we talked about, I'll let the RMP and the Intelligence Division know. I'll contact you if there's any more info. That'd be great, thanks. Ideally, we would like to have accurate information. What's going on here? Reen, Yuna, Altina and Kurt. Please be careful. I'll be praying for your field exercises to turn out well. Thank you. Thanks, Claire. We'll see you again soon. I found that there was a whole never conversation going on there. So what must we do besides investigate these beasts? Seems we have a number of requests. Yeah, I'll explain how this will work. Look at this here, everyone. These are the requests for the first day of our Sutherland Field Exercise. Alright, Herb Helper is our top one. We got Red Perch Search, the wonderful, wonderful cat. We must save the cat. And prepare to die. Herb Helper. 
We would like to replenish our stocks of healing supplies, but monsters have grown violent around the foraging area and we are unable to get near it. Would you be able to help us? Archbishop Ramson, St. Art Cathedral. I want some herbs. Red Perch Search. I'd like to cook something special for my lady's birthday and I need some help getting ingredients. Come see me for more details. I'll be waiting in the mansion in the southwest part of the Noble District. Izzy. Sounds like a fishing quest. The wonderful, wonderful cat. While my granddaughter and I were traveling together, we lost the little kitten we had with us. Anyone willing to help reunite us with him? Please come see me at the April Cafe and Inn. I'm prepared to die. 5,000 mirror? I'm looking for some materials to make dyes for my cloth, and I'd like to find them as soon as possible. If you're willing to help, please talk to Reggie at the man manager's house in Palm. Hey, we got some that are short term, some that are long term. Okay. These are errands unrelated to military services. Yeah, requests made by citizens in the cathedral. The ones marked required, we need to do for sure. But anything marked optional, we can choose whether or not we do it. Either way, we should still be able to sure to patrol St. Ark and check everything out. Finally, here are the details in the investigation report. Crucial investigation report. This is a report regarding the many different signs of suspicious monsters across the Sutherland province. The exact details are unknown, but the report contains signs of monsters made of metallic parts and sounds like grinding gears. These monsters have been reported in three different places. Northwest of St. Ark, 50 cells from the North Sutherland Highway. 50 cells to the east of Palm and 50 cells to the south of Palm. Please investigate these three locations. We can investigate the first location while we're here in St. Ark. Then once we finish our other request, we can move south to Palm. Then we can investigate the second and third locations while we do our request there. That'll be how our first day will go. That seems a little intense. Our schedule will be most assuredly packed. All in all, how many tasks will we need to see to? We've got our required requests as well as a crucial investigation, but for the optional requests, I'll let the three of you decide. I'm just here to supervise you guys, so talk it over amongst yourselves and decide if you want to do them or not. I see. So that's how these will be conducted. If the tasks aren't required, do we even need to do them? Of course we do. These people need our help. We can't just ignore them. It's not even 8am yet, so we still have plenty of time. We should do as much as we can, right? I have no objections to that, but time isn't the only factor. We also need to consider our fatigue throughout the day. We shouldn't assume we'll have the energy to accomplish everything. I'm fine with either option. I'll let you two decide. Hey, that's not allowed. She's right. You need to tell us your opinion. You can all can keep discussing it as we go. Class 7 Special Operations will now begin its assigned tasks. Let's give it everything we've got to head back to camp at the end of the day with a good report. Well, duh. I plan to give my all regardless. Mission start. Obtain Crucial Investigation Report. You can check your request at any time from the Quest tab of your notebook. The Crucial Investigation Report can be viewed from the Event tab of the item menu. Okay, then. High speed mode. That's not what I want to press. I want to press that. Quests that are currently going. We've got the two that are already complete and reported. And Branch Campus Quest 2 is a separate thing. That's on a long. So we need to get the shorts done first, obviously. Well, actually, it wasn't. They, they, they said L. They are M. Oh, God. Do we actually have a time system of which we have to do things in certain orders? You want to play cards, do you? Head to the Marquise's office. Yeah, sure. Hi, Claire. That's the security of the Imperial Provincial Council. Hmm, I think it would be best if we worked with the Unified Regions Army. Some people may be against this, however, so let me talk with them first. Thank you, my lord. He seems pretty busy. Yeah, there's no rest for a head of one of the four great houses. We can talk with him later. The one we hadn't met up until now. Sorry things have been a little hectic here. I wanted to show you some hospitality, but anyway, if anything is bothering you, please come by. I've provided all the help that I can. Wait, how did your son? He seems quite level-headed. How did his son end up the way he did? Class 7. Oh no, it's nothing. Three days of special ops missions isn't going to be easy, but I'm sure you'll make it through. Right, thank you for believing in us. Come on guys, let's do this. You know, so energetic all of a sudden. Somehow I'm not surprised. Was your son fronting at school because the whole noble and four houses thing? Is that what caused his personality deviation? Because he seems really stand up now, Patrick. After you got through that issue. I mean, just from a brief encounter there, it doesn't look like he's terribly badly raised, but whatever. And you, Class 7? 
They seem to be just as motley and assemblage as the original. <laughs> I can't deny that. Is that meant to be a positive? Of course it is. When I look at you, it reminds me of my time helping out the main campus. Do be careful now. I wish you a fruitful and enjoyable field exercise. And you got playing with Vantage Masters. By the by, are you familiar with the popular card game Vantage Masters? I only recently summoned up the audacity to give it a try for myself. Finally called the bug, eh, Celestine? Says Reen, who's been doing it for, like, a week. <laughs> I take it that means you're a fan as well. While well, I don't have any cards of yet and still remain an abject novice, it seems we have stumbled upon an opportunity for mutual growth. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I would love to play against you when you have the time. What are we going to do? Like, butler of a noble house and guy visiting and now going to sit down on this carpet and play Vantage Masters. Sure. That's how we're going to go. That's how we're going to do. Right, we're both fighters, are we? I shall be your opponent. Will you be my opponent? I don't want to go first. That means you get the thing. I've got a blaze. Oh, give me a crystal. Yeah, I reckon it's funny. I mean, for example, I could put a Reku at the front here. Oh, I've got another blaze? I kind of want to play the Reku for the obvious reason. I want you to have the Reku. So should I stay in the back for this turn? Alright, the armor. Thank you. Crystal is pretty good. We've got two crystals! But I can only move once, can't I? I don't need to move. But I put it straight on me! I have the power! Should I blaze myself as well? I will destroy you all! Technically, if I attack her, I'll take two damage back. Should I just get one card off the board? You know what? I'm going to do that. Because that's one off the board. And if she attacks me, she takes four back. I could just blaze my fighter even more. I can also summon in the armor. Which gives me a chance to cure in the future too. I got a lot of buffs. You need to move to that magic crystal. A goon boss? Wait, what did you do? I couldn't counter. Another one? Damn, why do you have to land there? I wanna. So I can kill it, sure. There's loads of magic crystals where I think now, which is really annoying. Wait, who did I heal then? Did I heal him? Oh, what the hell? I thought he healed me. Oops. Abject failure. Can't move again now. I mean, I'd like to summon in a thingamabob and just stick him there, but I could just keep powering up you. I mean, look at all those magic crystals. And technically, Celestin's keeping a lot of cards in his hand. Here we go. Even took damage from my power round cell. But the armor's coming in. Never the armor. I'm just losing HP for no reason at this point, I feel. I just want a thingy to appear. I should stop waiting and just go force the ball attack, though. Oh, you got the Blix! Give me a Blix! Not Parancel. I 
I'm actually just damaging myself repeatedly here. But I've got loads of cards on the board. Well, I don't think I'm going to get the Blix anytime soon, so let's do that. I've always got that magic crystal if I need it. So I can end the battle in three turns from here. I know how to play it. I just want the Blix card to appear. Got a pellet. Really keeping this guy down for a general attacks here. I mean, I could trade the parent cell here and just go for the throat. We're a bit even now. There's loads of crystals on the board for us. Do I want to pick up? Oh, we could do that actually. Yes, I just realized that is an option too. Many heals. Guess I may as well get you in. Okay, a Baku, a Leku even. I guess I'll put you there. Attack you. You're one turn dead. Literally no point in me attacking you with any other creature at the moment. Move you up. Oh, I didn't take any damage from you at all? Oh, great. We have board control! Pure board control. Yeah, now we get a Blix! Damn it. Let's finish this off nice and safely. It seems I've lost. Yes, I took the long route, but the secure route. It's good if Foss, three cards. Thank you very much, Celestin. Well, I wish you a fruitful, enjoyable field exorcis exorcism <laughs> exercise. I would be remiss in my duties not to remind you to be careful. It could feel like you can move the curse card to be exorcist. Well, this is what I was saying earlier. This place is just too huge. If I keep walking around here, I'm going to get lost for sure. Probably shouldn't be strolling around here anyway. Oh. Well, that's the route to Scarlet. And that's the route to the bedroom. <laughs> if the architect says the same. Good day, this is Force. <laughs> I've heard all about you already. Master spoke highly of you. I'm sure he's happy to see you. Please have a pleasant stay. Let's turn on my fan. I need some cooling in here. Oh, aren't you that famous guy? <laughs> um, you talking about me? Of course, the Ashen Chevalier, Reed Schwarzer. Here in this mansion, you're also known as Mr. Miracle Man for reforming Sir Patrick. Also, the Iron Wall brother for standing in the way of his romantic advances. <laughs> Instructor, what in the world are those two names about? I'd like to know myself. <laughs> They're just silly jokes. Halfway, anyway. If I stand here talking for too long, Mr. Celestine will scold me, so I guess that's farewell for now. It seems you students have your place full, so good luck. The Iron Wall brother, Reen Schwarzer. Oh, yes. Which route would you like to take? We can just ask the Archbishop about the Cathedral's request. We still need to find out more about the Mysterious Beast. Now let's gather information around town. I believe there's a tavern in the residential area to the south. There are a lot of old stores in the Cathedral Square, so we can add them to the list. Well, Kurt, did you say you're from here? Then you're in charge of guiding us. Well, that's fine with me, if that's alright with you. Yeah, sounds great. Let's get going. Has Reed not even been here before? 
Thank you for your hard work. You must have met with His Excellency. We don't know how much we can rely on you, but we're short of manpower. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but please track down the mysterious beast, he says to a tiny girl. Please let us know if you need our help. I'm sure His Excellency will be willing to help as well. Very well. Very well. <laughs> That's my reply. Alright, we got... This is just the Noble District. Something's going on that St. Ark Mansion over there. St. Ark is said to be the smallest of the Empire's five major cities. A city's status should not be determined by its aerial population. Well, at least that's what all the residents of St. Ark believe. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? We love this city that much. I'm glad you do. It's morning already. Sorry for asking you for help so late. But my wife's condition is much better, thank, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I did it for my lady. I'm going on break now, but I'll be back this afternoon. Please rest as well, Master. You barely got any sleep. Thank you. I shall see you this afternoon. Give your brother my regards as well. I'm so focused on taking care of my lady, I didn't realize it's already morning. I wonder if Richie is already awake. I need to go home and cook him breakfast. My wife often gets sick. Sometimes it can be really bad. It makes my house work really hard. There's amicable relationships between nobles and their help. That's good. This is a nice town for nice people. I'm sure something was making a noise there. There's something over the bookshelf over there. Mm -hmm. It's been a while, Catherine. Meow. <laughs> They've made the cats look better. <laughs> that uniform is St. Australia. Is something wrong? Someone I know has the same uniform. I'm guessing you're a student at St. Australia's girls' school. Yeah, I'm one of their middle school students. Oh, your face looks familiar. <laughs> I get that a lot. It's the glasses, though. It's thrown them off. And there he goes, hiding his face behind a pair of glasses. Exactly. Sheesh. Speaking of Australia, doesn't Lady Alfin go there as well? I thought they were a boarding school with really strict rules. Well, today is actually my birthday. Since it's the weekend and we don't have class, President Elise, President Elise got special permission for me to come home. But Izzy is all over the place. My brother is out. Ah, I can't relax. Oh, I see. Sounds like Elise is doing a good job as president. That's good to know. Instructor, is something wrong? Oh no, there's nothing. Thanks for sharing your story with us. We're going to get going. Yes, please come by again. Is this the next story of Tomartian that all the nobles love? Or Tomartonio, sorry. Marine found Kobe and the Mysterious Museum, part one. What, another, another, another book? How many books have we got? Part one. Kobe goes to the museum. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Kobe who lived in Erebonia with his parents. One day, his parents took him to the magnificent Imperial Museum, which contained the Empire's turbulent history. However, Kobe was too young to understand and thought the museum was an old, boring place with old, boring artifacts. His mother gave him a warning. There are many people inside the museum, so don't let go of my hand, okay? Kids and their families who become lost inside the museum will be devoured by demons! But Kobe didn't listen to his mother's words. Yeah, whatever, he muttered under his breath. Several minutes later, Kobe grew bored of the museum and wanted to go exploring. While his parents were distracted by an exhibit, Kobe let go of his mother's hand and wandered around the museum. He waded through the sluggish crowd and ended up in an open room. There was a large mural on display of a winged dragon and powerful beasts. Kobe was moved by these mythical creatures, but soon felt disappointed upon realizing they couldn't possibly exist in real life. There was an old painting hanging next to the mural. It had lots of small, sealed caskets painted in a variety of sharp, vibrant colors. Kobe stared at this painting and soon felt uneasy. One of the caskets in the painting had its lid jar, and the paint on the casket was peeling. Kobe wasn't sure what the painting meant, but he was drawn to it nonetheless. He continued to stare at the painting until someone spoke to him from behind. You like this painting? Kobe walked around. There was a girl, slightly older than him, standing there with a warm smile. The girl continued without waiting for Kobe's answer. Museums are so quiet and only have old stuffy... Old stuff, sorry, old stuffy. Old stuff lying around, which is boring, but I really like this painting. Kobe was drawn to the girl for having the same force as him. I feel the same way. And look how this casket is open here. It's like the colour just popped out of it. The girl's face brightened. She took Kobe's hand. We really get each other. I found something else cool. Want to come see it with me? Kobe's face also brightened at having a companion and he agreed to go with her. The two walked around the museum together, exploring the different rooms and exhibits. Kobe loved what the girl showed him and he completely forgot how bored he had been with his parents. I've been stuck in a hospital up until now, the girl admitted. I'm really glad I can explore the museum with you, she added blushing. Thanks, I like being with you way more than being with my parents, Kobe confessed. The girl looked concerned and asked him where his parents were. I left them make some exhibit. 
Kobe said, shrugging. I got bored being with them. The girl nodded. I see. They finally finished exploring the museum. Wait, the girl said. I want to show you something super special before you go. Kobe didn't question the girl's words, and she took her by the hand again. The museum crowd began fitting out, and the pair soon found themselves in an empty room. There was an ancient door before them. Kobe felt as if the door was staring ominously at him. It's past here, but the door's too heavy for me to open, the girl said. But that's why you're here. You're a strong boy, aren't you? She ushered Kobe close to the door. You can open it! Kobe placed the hand on the door's handle as the girl kept encouraging to open the door. How are we going to keep track of free book series now? In my memory. Well, it's been added to the book notes. And you say free book series, but we've also got the normal paper. He's being kidnapped. He might be kidnapped into Narnia or something like that at this rate. Hello. What's up? Um, um, uh, next I get the pot and... Ah, time, I need more time. Is that our client? Let's talk to her. Excuse me. Ba -ba 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 -ba! I'm busy right now. We're from the Forest Branch campus. We came here to answer your request. Could you give us more details about it? Oh, the thing I asked the Marquise for help with. Are you going to help me? Yay, now I'll be able to finish on time. I know it's something about a birthday party, right? What kind of thing would a noble even need help getting? Oh, it's never gone that crazy. I wanted to make Lady Krista her favourite fish dish. Sorted red perch. I ordered one, but there was some problem with the delivery. Probably because of all the monsters out lately. And if I order one from farther away, I'm worried it won't be fresh. Okay, understood. But if it's a fish you're after, yeah, it'll probably be fastest to catch it ourselves. After all, there's nothing like a freshly caught fish. Is that so? All right, let's find some water and go fishing. Can we catch them around St. Art? Yeah, I think I've heard they're in the area. Let's hit the highway to find a good fishing spot. I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah, you can have these. Yeah, I needed bait. See, this should make things easier. Yeah, I'll put them to good use. Once you get a red perch, please bring it back to me. Thank you. All right, the red perch search has started. My lady's birthday party is tonight. I need to finish on time. Oh, please get a red perch for me. I'm definitely going to need a favorite. You could cook other things. Double cake. The door is locked, as it should be for a bedroom. In a house like this, where people just wander in. In a world where students just go, Ah, right, we're checking out your house now. My mother is sick, so I can't get too close to her. So she can't play today. <laughs> Poor Timmy. My mother gets sick often. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if I can help you. Right, let's head into here next then. We've still got the paper to read at this point. Hello, what's going on here then? Well, well, thank you for coming out this far. Please come on in. I will brew some tea. Oh, your herbal tea? It's always outstanding. This is indeed an honor. It's been quite some time, my lady. His Excellency has always treated me well. I don't know how to thank him. The Count acts as a patron to young artists like us, and at times he invites us to a salon like this. He is often regarded as the most cultured person in Sutherland. Do I get tea as well? I would like some tea too. I guess I should check every bookshelf, but to be honest, everything we've seen thus far... Can I tinkle away on the piano? Has been marked with a green marker, so that's good. The people in the salon today are young, so it's a little more comfortable. Master's acquaintances are usually big name heavyweights. I get nervous on those days. Extremely nervous. Yeah, I won't be so nervous today. Maybe it won't be. Can we still some ingredients? I guess we're going upstairs next to see the master. Hello to you. Oh, it seems my guests have arrived. Both of them are very talented. It would besmirch the Alfheim name not to pamper them. I should take care of the office work right away. Count Alfheim. This must be Mary's house. She's the fine arts instructor at the main campus. It's Mary's house? She did so much for me. Is something wrong? No, I was just reminiscing. Tell me about Mary. What's been going on in her life? I'm looking forward to talking to those two young savants. I should take care of the office work right away. We need to know what's going on with Mary. And, of course, one other certain instructor. What has happened in their life full of forced together love and horrible poison cooking? This is what we wish to know. Did they die from a horrible culinary accident? Did they get together? These are the questions. 
Right, that seems to be the main way the Cathedral Square, right? right let's go to the residential section. And the poison cooking was for Vincent, it was for both! You had to deal with that purple pan stirring away. What's our shops? This is a normal residential area. It's so pretty here. Looking around here, it's hard to believe that the Civil War only ended a year and a half ago. Thanks to the efforts of Marquis High Arms, this area was able to avoid direct fire. There are workshops, antique stores, and taverns in this area. Maybe we should look around this area to gather information. Though it's optional, we do have a request from this area. At the very least, we should head to the tavern. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's start our patrol. In each chapter's field exercise location, you may find useful shops or workshops, taverns, inns, hotels, and trade shops. But there are certain items that can only be found in these places, so make sure to check out the shops whenever you go traveling. Looks like an orb mail from Monk. Send a monk. Subject, radio material. Count you to get some good material for the radio. Don't forget, see who's always a treasure trove of information. I'll be talking to lots of people for your mission, so I'm crossing my fingers that you'll get some good stuff. Feel free to give me a call as you do. I will always, always answer. <laughs> I forgot you asked me to do that. I was even asked about something too, when I went to the church. So, Rosie, does that mean you'll be analysing the black records? Yes, I learned how from Father Thomas. If you find any new records during your field exercises, just give me a call and let me know. It may take a while to translate, but as long as you send me a picture, I can get it done. That's encouraging to hear. What I understand, though, the black records are special artefacts. They describe the, describe the true history of the Empire, right? That's how I understand them, too. Collecting artefacts is an important part of the Grouser's duties, so it helps a lot. I've been working through the ones you found during the Civil War as well. I'll send you a copy of what I've done so far. Receive an updated copy of the Black Records from Rosie. I'll give you more as I go. Hopefully you won't have to wait long. That'll be a huge help. Thanks. Black Records. Material for the radio. It's easy enough to look into the stuff about it disrupting our field exercises. So we've got Black Records 1 copy. Viewable from the action menu once again is how we can talk to Monk and Rosine or report on jobs that we're talking to them with. Talk to people in town to collect material for a Monk's radio show and then talk to him again about it. Black records. You find black records by exploring different places and then report them to Rosine. Sounds like a busy day. We haven't got any information for you guys oh. yet. Uh, there's a breeze coming through here. I can smell flowers too. That must be coming from the fields along the western highway. Which way am I allowed out, though, for these highways? It's interesting how the map's moving on its own. I'm not touching anything. There we go. <laughs> right, the Southern Highway, the Cathedral Square's that way. We've got a little bit to check out, a few people around. Let's go talking. Uh, what am I doing here? It's so cruel out Dad had to travel aboard without any notice. I never left the capital before. I'm an Imperial kid. I never wanted to leave the capital. Oh, I hate you, Mum and Dad. Okay. There used to be a branch of the Bracer Guild in the street, but it closed down a few years ago. You don't see many braces around here anymore. <laughs> Customers, please come on in. An idiot works here, but don't let it bother you. <laughs> okay. Customers, please come. Is it an idiot I know? I did a good job. The trimming turned out perfect again today. Let's see, I should rake up the fallen leaves. What leaves? Oh, oh, one. Two, three, four. Okay, it's a couple. Taurus, be careful where you go on the highways. Well, be careful when you go on them. Well, we should be fine. So what's this shop? Lunar Crest Apartments. Not a shop. Well, welcome. I'm the landlord here. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. At times like this, we should all be helping each other out. The after Civil War times. Gotta say, hi Mr. High Arms did stay well on the fence. Enough to get, like, completely out of that scot-free of his province. Pretty good. Have you seen my granddaughter around outside? I'm watching for her son. For, I'm watching her for my son. But she's feeling rather down. I wonder if there's anything I can do to bring her spirits up. Maybe there will be. Maybe there isn't. You didn't have a hidden quest for me, so. My sister's really good at cooking and cleaning. That's why I want to get real good at those things and surprise her. And but those things are sort of hard. Yeah, you're a bit small for reaching the utensils. And don't use a sharp knife or anything. Right, this door's locked, but it can definitely be entered at some point. 
There's a place behind it. Right, so this is the Exchange and Antique Demeter. God, your place looks way better than Mitch's place. Look at all this fancy stuff. Chessboard, some... I'm get, I would say pocket watches, but I'm probably better off saying augment, aren't I, really? Binoculars, wedding rings, rings of various types, anyway. Some crosses. Cool. Swords, weaponry. Many lamps. Many, many lamps. It really makes me happy to see young people here. St. Ark is known as the capital of art, thanks to their art and music. We have tons of nice products here. As an art vendor, I like to think I have a good eye for art. Now, please take a look. Well, the brass fountain pen I can get here, which can be given to Kurt as a gift, but I need a silver earring and white glasses, of which I have both equipped. So I... Ah, oh, what? So if I get rid of my attachments... That's weird. Hmm. I can trade my current attachments for a gift for Kurt. Well, I guess we're doing it. Seems a bit weird considering I don't have enough to go around. I've just got everything on Reem currently. Let's give him the brass fountain pen then. This is a rather tasteful fountain pen. Is it for me? Yeah, I thought it would be perfect for you. It wasn't too expensive, so don't be afraid to use it. Alright, if you insist. Thank you very much. I didn't really go out well, did it? <laughs> Was that worth? Well, Kurt's max HP increased by 100, so I guess in that sense, not too bad. Nothing new there. Oh my god, the books I'm collecting already. Well, we exchanged something for a goodie. But... I don't want to be missing out. I don't want to be using my attachments when I haven't got a max... You know, attachment... Revelt and Co. Ah. Ahahaha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Is that why Claire is reticent? The material price is... Oh, are you a customer? Your black hair. I've seen it somewhere before. Oh well, please make sure to keep uh, take the items along the edges. I don't want the layout to collapse. <laughs> fair news. Also, please don't mind my father. He's always talking about fairy tales, but it was just that. Fairy tales, you say? Oh, I don't recognize your face. If you're going out to the highway, be careful. The beasts have gotten more vicious recently. Not to mention there may be evil spirits outside of town. And evil spirits? There's no scientific proof. Hmm, that's what you would think. This area is famous for its many legends about spirits. Some of those legends are about evil spirits who drop people into total darkness. Legends? I see. Hmm, it's up to you whether you want to believe them or not. There are many non-fictional anecdotes in Sutherland. If you're interested, I'll tell you about them. To be honest, legends turn out to be true, so... In this game, anyway. When I have time, you'll tell me about- You're not going to tell me now. Cheers, man. Alright, you can get a level watch that gives ATS and Fred's delay if I had the cash. Oh, also some more things. Kaleido and Oberon. Kaleido gear is separate from attacks crafts. That's what... Like a thing he had. Claire, there we go. Then some normal stats. Stat down 40% chance with Oberon here. A majorly ATS dealt quartz, Oberon. I like the designs. They pop a bit more. They pop. There's a lot of the thing about the uh, change from PS3 to PS4, isn't it? They pop. I guess we'll gather information first, then. Considering we have two things to do, and there's going to be a lot of people in here. Thievey. I know we've got like a 50-50 chance, but that pink hair. And it's messing with a guy. My wife really is brilliant. She even became the manager of a high-quality food store. The only thing's really high of her, too. <laughs> I can't fall behind her. I've got to give my all, too. This is where it's not. I 
of course, I'll make sure to delay that as long as possible because something is going on up here. <laughs> Felix, where are you? <gasps> the cat, we will find it. Don't cry, kiddo. I'm sure we'll find him. <sighs> if only you had some braces around. Um, are you... You made a request to the Marquis, correct? Yes, I asked the owner of the inn here to put in a request for me. Are you perhaps... You might be able to help, but no promises. I don't say it like that. The request was to find a cat that was lost during your travels, correct? Yes, his name is Felix, and... <laughs> well, he's next door. It's our next door neighbor's cat. There, there. It'll be alright. You don't need to cry. If you have time, would you be able to... Accept our request? After accepting this request, you will not be able to leave the city until it is completed. I will find your cat! Yes, we'd be glad to help you. Please brief us on the situation. Really? Thanks so much. He's a little kid named Felix. I brought him along with my granddaughter on this trip. But last night, a drunk man accidentally kicked Felix's cage open and... Why do you have Felix's cage in a position where there's to be a drunk man kicking it, though? Felix got scared and ran outside. We spent a while looking for him, but... That's... This may be a bit difficult. Yeah, the city's pretty big, so we'll at least need a clue to go on. Let's see. Did you take Felix anywhere in town yet? If you got lost, he might have gone back there. I see. Well, I guess that makes sense. How about it? Um, we played in that pretty plaza yesterday. The plaza near the Marquis's mansion. We were there for a good long while. Felix seemed to like it too. He was stretching and enjoying the sun. It may be a good idea to begin my questioning, or by questioning, the people in that area. Yeah, let's get moving. I promise we'll find him for you, so don't worry. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you. His fur is a bright cream color, and he's a little on the shy side. Thank you so much for agreeing to look for him. Let's just bring him all the cats. Yeah, let's just leave it to us. <laughs> we shouldn't make promises like that. I'll help him feel. It I'll help him feel better until we find him. You mean it'll, but still. The wonderful, wonderful cat has started. I'm gonna find your kitten. It'll be good. Felix, where did you go? I've looked everywhere. Please find Felix for me. <sighs> we'll speak to you in a bit then, whichever one you are. I'm putting my bets on Vivi. But there's a cat in peril. And I will respond. Hello. Passerby in the Noble District. The conditions have been met. Yes, let's ask. Um, sorry. Oh, yes? After briefly explaining the situation to him, they asked him about the kitten. Uh, come to think of it, when I was coming back from the Cathedral Square, I think I walked by that kitten. I was walking toward the airport. It looked very worried. That must be the one. Thank you for such helpful information. Oh no, I wouldn't want there to be a sad parting in the town that I love. I hope you find it soon. Which way is the airport from the Cathedral Square? According to the map, we must head east from the Cathedral. We might still be hanging around the area. Let's hurry. Yes. Right. To the cat! Cathedral District, go! Of course, it's got to give us an intro first, though. So I'll get a good drink in. I remember thinking it when we got here, but that cathedral is really nice. Do we have a required request there? Yes, it's from the Archbishop. We should head over. Oh, there's also a hotel and a department store around here too, right? Indeed, the department store is in that direction. St. Ark's department store. I believe they sell everything from quality ingredients to weapons. We may want to look around there for our missions. Yeah, I guess if we're going to be running around during these, doing these requests, it'll be good to make sure we're prepared. We'll add Albion Garden to our list of locations to visit. I've just realised what could be going on with the amount of books we have to read, by the way. Maybe. Welcome to Hotel Augusta. Are you here for viewing? A viewing? Ah yes, this hotel is decorated with quite a number of works of art. Some pieces are even said to be national treasures. Yes, the piece over there is called Sunbeam Leaves by the genius still life painter Poise. It was actually once stolen by Phantom Thief B. Phantom Thief B? That's a famous thief in the Empire. He's got some very interesting tastes, too. Speaking of interesting, the manager of our hotel is also very interesting. When the thief was leaving with a piece, he explained to the thief why it was so wonderful. And to top it all off, he told him to be careful when walking the streets at night. That's... quite something. He was far beyond just being a nice person. <laughs> this might be a good story to share with Monk. We've even got new material for the radio. Monk! We've got you some material by looking at it. We should probably report to Monk. 
<laughs> I've been waiting, Reen. Give me the dirt. Okay, doesn't sound wrong at all. So here's what I've heard. Reen told Monk the story that could be used for the radio. <laughs> That's good stuff. I'll send you your prize. You should be there by tonight, so keep an eye out. You didn't have to do that, Monk, but thanks. Thank you for sending me your prize. We've updated Monk. All the art in this hotel was donated by famous artists. If it was auctioned, they'd make millions of mirror. But we could see all of it here for free. This truly is a wonderful hotel. Hmm. Should I just steal one, then? After all, he'll just let me walk out and tell me to walk safe at night, won't he? The brush strokes are bold, yet intricate. Sunbeam leaves is a national treasure. I can only sigh about it. Can you? Welcome to Hotel Augusta. Have you all come to sightsee? Sutherland's greenery is quite beautiful, especially with the birds chirping and all the flowers. They say Emperor Astorius in love this time of year. Oh, oh the artwork here is beautiful, but there are many other beautiful things to see. Are there now? Anyone else in here? Just over this side. We'll just bust into your hotel room. A fine old fashioned donut with some Earl Grey tea. Old fashioned donuts? Hmm, the breakfast is wonderful again today. Is that what you call a bagel? I don't even know. Old fashioned donut? Father, why are there holes in donuts? Why aren't they just circles? Why is that? Please tell me! Hmm, well, Luna. If you put it around your wrist, it's easy to carry, isn't it? He's a proper dad, isn't he? Well, I see, there was so much thought put into these. No, you would have to be a small child in order for it to work. <laughs> Wait, were you lying? Please tell me the truth. Father! I need to know the secret about donuts. Please tell me. This hotel is wonderful. The art is beautiful and the meals are delicious. I don't know it's out right now, but our whole family was happy this morning. <laughs> it's cute. It's the that kind of dad lie about something, isn't it? Explaining something in a weird fashion. The dad lie. I don't know why it's associated with dads over mums, mind you. Or at least in my own personal brain. In case you're wondering, the painting was later returned to us. But now the company had said, I'm satisfied now. This beauty should be enjoyed by the masses. Please take care of it, my loving manager. Ah, oh, these things aren't good for business. Technically, then, what Phantom B, B did by stealing it and bringing it back was up the value. C somewhat considerably. When you think about it. And off some highways that way, we see our marker. Let's go to the quest marker. Today's shopping day. Our mansion is one of the furthest away from St. Ark in all of Sutherland, so I designate a whole day to come here and take care of shopping. Additionally, I'll visit the cathedral and go check out that cafe that caught my attention earlier. Alright, time to shop. Shop. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. She just reminded me that I actually need to eat things now to get recipes. Hello there. How about some juice made from freshly picked fruit? Though we're normally a farming household, we decided to open a juice stand on the side. This is just juice made from fruit picked just this morning. Have a taste. Oh, it looks so good. I can smell it from here. <laughs> All the benches around here. It might be a nice place to take a break. Personally, I recommend the stuff and punch. Please give it a try. When you try a recommended dish, you will learn the recipe. Oh, we're doing that here. Not at the cafe. Damn, i got to make some money. I have 25 mirror. Just enough. We're memorizing it. Well, Seven Punch has been memorized. He has one of those pallets now. I should probably talk to you again, Ashley. The laws changed recently and now it's much easier to apply for a small storefront. I come from a family of farmers, so I really pride myself on the quality of our fruit. That's why our juice store is so popular. We plan on expanding, so please continue to be loyal patrons. Ah, that brilliant place. Fresh. Well, that's there. Anyone can make good chunky salad, potato salad? I got this in the bag. Reed didn't make anything special, so it turned out great. You know, made crunchy potato croquet. Apart from that, let's get you to make the uh, 
this as well. Initiate cooking mode. Altina, you're gonna be terrible, aren't you? An unexpected result. Shield chips. Restores 400 HP defense large for one turn. Okay then. What's this cat? From Cathedral Square, it headed in the direction of the airport. Could it be over here? Well, this is where we told it went. It's no use. I can't find it. I don't see any signs of it either. Maybe it already moved on. But there's no trail. Do you think it got into the airport? If so, the search area will have become much too wide. Oh, you looking for a cat? I am voice person. Uh, um, you are... <laughs> Just a nosy passerby. I was playing around with a cat earlier. Might be the one you're looking for. R really? What did the cat look it like? It was a bright, cream-colored little kitten. I played with it a bit and then it wandered off. Pretty sure it didn't go into the airport, though. I see. That does match the description. Do you happen to remember which way it went? Southwest, I think. Maybe towards the residential district. It seemed domesticated, so I figured it was going back to its owner. But it was pretty young, so I bet the poor thing's gotten lost again already. Thank you for your assistance. It seems it went back the way it came. But if it's lost, we just gotta comb the area. It's inefficient, but we have no better options. If I could give some friendly advice... Unlike dogs, cats are, well, scaredy cats. They don't warm up to people easily. If it is lost again, my guess is it's gone somewhere more secluded, away from people. You might want to try checking places like that. I see, thank you. It makes a lot of sense. Thanks so much. No problem. Make sure you get it back to its home soon. Bye bye now. I reckon it's gone to Revelt's place. She seemed like a pretty unique girl. It's the style, isn't it? Quite the wild outfit too, yeah. Agree, she's most likely a traveller. She could be from Heimdall, or perhaps she's visiting from abroad. Or not so abroad? Instructor! Oh, it's nothing. The residential area is to the southwest. We should head back there now. Yeah, of course! Screwed areas up. Let's keep that in mind as we search. See ya, unimportant person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not that way, and we're not allowed to go that way. We've no objectives at Saint Saint Ark Airport. I'm gonna need more cash at this point. Right, so we wanna go to the residential district. Let's go via here and talking to Sir Sylvester. Oh, well, hello there. The weather is simply splendid today. It's the perfect day to take in all this lush greenery. Ha ha ha! Mhm. So I have a nice spending time like this, but my husband actually. No, it's fine. I should just keep my mouth shut. Indeed we shall. And guess what, guess what? There's a concert today. I'm gonna go listen with Mummy and Rico. I'm so excited. Quite baby. Isn't it just lovely out, Rico? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you agree? Ah. Now that's the paintings I know and love the most. So it actually looks like some actual things have been done because some bits are whiter than others. My child younger sister is home now. I had planned to walk around the city with a canvas, but the cathedral nestled amid vibrant green shrubbery. It is truly quite the sight. Even those familiar street corners can hide beauty yet unseen. You haven't managed to paint any of the green yet, I see. My beautiful St. Ark, I just can't get enough of you. And those were the words of a famous painter from the Middle Ages. Aha, I will paint to my heart's content today. Sure thing. Yeah. This is their department store? Oh, people here must be loaded. It is marketed toward the nobility, but there's no need to worry about that. Let's go in. Doesn't even look necessary. Uh, okay, okay then. Hi, I'm stopping you, Sir Woodward. The Narcia was the capital of the Empire 900 years ago. The central street you see here is nearly unchanged from how it was back then. Road leading to the cathedral washed over by six holy statues. This area is known as the Cathedral Square and has always been the center of the Empire's faith. Okay then. Well, we're supposed to go back to the residential district to find a cat, so I'll go talk to that guy outside that in not too long. Bonk. Oh look, what a guess!
Is this why it's leading us here? Closed. This place is... There aren't many people. It fits the description perfectly. The buildings are old but very impressive. The gates seem to be closed though. Wait, do you see that writing? What's that? In that wooden box? Yeah, I think it's hiding behind it. There it is. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah. Yuna, don't scare it. It seems like private property. In that case, we should let the people who made the request know. I'm sure it'd be relieved to see them. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll run back and tell them. She wouldn't just run over to you unless you had food. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Meow, meow. Phew. Thank you so much. I never thought he'd wander all around St. Ark. I knew the students of Force Branch Campus were such nice people. Ah, you know about us? Of course I know about Force. See, the Emperor himself went there. I don't know anything about the Branch Campus, though. Anyway, I never thought you'd all be so helpful. Thank you. I mean, I can't thank you enough. It's no problem. And witnesses were a lot of help. Almost well that ends well. <laughs> Our cat quest complete. <laughs> Good work. I'm glad everything worked out so well. Seeing how happy they were made it all worth it. To be fair, you were really helpful too, Instructor. In any event, we finished our request. Yeah, let's go back to our special operations missions. That was a special operation mission, honest. With that kind of special ops. White kitty ears have been obtained as a reward, and we got 2,000 mirrors straight away from the branch campus. I have money now! Can. Not. Come. Play. Quest. So one's done. That was... That was one of them on the short. And the other one's ones I can't do yet. Because I'm wondering why they're given different time things. We've got to go to the Archbishop and sort out that other stuff. Oh, that's our main quest. Oh, man. That sucks. Let's go in here first. Can you put it on Altina? He can, but he won't. <laughs> Why do you want kitty ears on poor Altina? 